Once you get into the upper echelons of steel and aluminum bikes, you're looking at bikes that are probably constructed from tubing from one of two companies. Reynolds from the UK or Columbus from Italy. These two tubing giants are competitors of each other from the entry level tubing all the way up to boutique level tubing that has a shiny sticker and will give you the most fixie points. But there are also some smaller scale tubing manufacturers that are arguably just as high quality as the venerable Reynolds and Columbus, but unfortunately don't give you as many fixie points because people aren't familiar with them. One of those tube makers being Data Chiai. Data is mostly known for producing a road and track components, stems, handlebars, seat posts, bar tape, that sort of thing. But did you know that they still produce high quality tube sets in Italy. Not only are they a respectable Italian tube set maker, for instance, the legendary EAI bare knuckle was made out of Data Chi tubing, and I'm still salty about the fact that I have to say was, they still tap into their rich Italian cycling heritage to produce not just the raw ingredients, but also the frame sets themselves. One of them being the Data Chi Strata Super Trek. Let's take a closer look at how special of a bike Data can produce when making everything from the tubes to the frame set to the components. And this bike check of Ji Wong Jung's Data Chi Strata Super Track from South Korea, as I explain the importance of this rare Italian track bike with food. Speaking of bikes, you should check out this portion of the video was sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Wabi and I started a video series called Three Minute Thursday where we teach you how to get the most fun out of your bike in 180 seconds or less. Check out Three Minute Thursday by clicking the card above or by sticking around to the end of the video. Most tubing manufacturers are just that. They're well-oiled machines that produce tube sets that then sell those tubes to bike manufacturers that then stick those tubes together to produce dope bikes. Or not dope bikes. <laughs> Reynolds, Columbus, Tongay, generic tubing manufacturers, that's their business. They're essentially grocery stores selling raw ingredients and bike manufacturers like All City, Surly, Chinelli, Waterford, Wabi, what have you, are the chefs making delicious meals out of those ingredients that we then fork a lot of money over for. With Data, while you can just buy the raw ingredients and cook them at home yourself, you can even buy everything else and you can even order a meal right inside a food court at the grocery store like Costco. By the way, I originally intended to shoot this video at Costco, but there were a lot of security guards and there was no space on the street and I tried, I tried to shoot it at Costco, but let's just hope that Data's bikes are more gourmet than Costco's hot dogs. Polish sausages, on the other hand, were the best item to ever grace Costco's menu. Now they don't have them anymore, and that is the biggest mistake they've ever made in their company's history, and I will die on this hill because I used to eat the Polish sausages all the time with my grandpa who's no longer with us, and they, they took that away from me. <clears throat> Ji Wong's guiding principle for this build was to have the best four course meal possible using only Costco ingredients. That is, unless Costco doesn't have those ingredients or the, the ingredients that they do carry are well known to suck. I'm looking at you, Data Tires. Needless to say, he's a pretty big fan of Costco. I mean, Data. With that in mind, we're starting off this quarter Michelin star meal with Data's very own Strata Super Track, constructed out of Data's Aegis Legge Legetta 7000 series budded in hydroformed aluminum tubing. Named after Greek goddess Athena's shield, which is rumored to have been made out of the same type of metal. This frame set is the equivalent of going to Costco, buying one of their rotisserie chickens, which is by far one of the best ready to eat items that they offer, and taking that rotisserie chicken from the checkout, sitting it down at the food court, and eating it right then and there because you just love their rotisserie chicken so much that you can't wait to get home to eat it. And yeah, the rotisserie chicken is good, and yes, you can technically buy one and sit down at the food court to eat it, but nobody has really ever thought to do that, right? Just like how most of us never really thought that a data frame made out of data tubing existed. Like, it, it makes sense, but it is a bit unsettling, you gotta be honest, and that's exactly why Ji Wong chose this frame set. But he didn't just sit down to eat any old Costco rotisserie chicken at the food court, no, no. It turns out that the Data Chi Super Track is actually a decently popular frame set in South Korea which is weird because I've never heard of it until this video. And they're so popular in Korea that Costco decided to make a special edition gourmet rotisserie chicken that is 
evenly coated in gochujang and honey for a one-way ticket to Flavortown just for Korea. This specific version of the Data Chi I Super Track with a tweaked geometry to specially suit Korean riders' body proportions is so gourmet, they only made 30 of them, and this is one of them. Still made in Italy with Italian ingredients by Italian chefs, just with a Korean flavor flourish. And I know Costco doesn't have Italian chefs if they even have anything remotely resembling chefs, but the metaphor may be falling apart a little bit, but for the sake of the analogy, just pretend it's a fancy Italian Costco. For the second course of the best four course meal you've ever had at Costco in your life, we have an entire Costco food court menu on the contact points with Data Elementi 0100 RHM bars complemented with a matching Data Elementi 0100 stem garnished with Data Elementi lube bar tape. Topped off with some items from the secret menu with a carbon Data Chi Strata headset, spacers, and top cap. Just like trying to order a coffee at the food court, you can't get a Data saddle, so we have a Sela San Marco Mantra saddle in the wide variant, and you're gonna need the wide version with all the Costco that were eaten today. Washing down a dental. Ah, <sighs> the big city. Don't you just love it? Washing down a Data Elementi 0100 setback churro. And again, Costco doesn't have everything we're craving today. So we had to Uber Eats a set of MKS Urban Platforms, plastic double toe clips, and fit Alpha Spirit double straps from the Chick-fil-A across the street to complete the second course of this meal. And we had to Uber Eats an entire drivetrain because Data doesn't make drivetrain components. And being sad about that fact is like being sad that Costco doesn't make Mexican food at the food court. It's like, sure, if Costco made Mexican food, it'd probably be fine, but nobody would crave Costco Mexican food because there's already so many great Mexican restaurants in town. Thankfully, we got that delivered instead with a set of SRAM Omniums. These are like hard shell tacos with how crunchy the bottom bracket is and how they stopped making them because the lettuce they were using gave everyone E. coli. Unfortunately, Ji Wong is a huge fan of E. coli as he states, the SRAM Omnium is the best fixed gear crank and you can't find any better cranks for the price that's as easily serviceable, bruh. That's like saying Chipotle is the best Mexican food in town because their bathrooms are clean for when they give you diarrhea. When the matter of fact is, any quality Mexican food won't give you diarrhea. And any quality crank set and bottom bracket don't ever really need to be serviced. I'm looking at you, NJS bottom bracket. You're giving me an awful lot of E. coli. For the salsas, we have the spicy habanero, fully carbon Aero Coach Brute chain ring, as you need to be pretty brave to have a fully carbon chain ring, but Ji Wong states that after getting over his initial apprehension, this chain ring is actually really tasty and goes down the gullet smoothly. In the back, we have a more playful Salsa Verde Titanium Parts Workshop Cog in 16 tooth. Not too spicy, but still has a nice bite to it to cut through the fat with a 49-16 ratio. And like any self-respecting Mexican dish, it's topped off with some juicy limes in the Izumi Jet Black chain. And while Costco does make desserts for the last course, they're mediocre at best. It'll satisfy your sweet craving, but if you're looking for any other flavors other than a barrage of sugar, you're gonna be left out. Because Data doesn't make gourmet track wheels, only your standard sugar overload road wheels, we have a set of Rofe Prima Vigor wheels that are as light and airy as a souffle, dripping with the melted dark chocolate of 25C Tufa Calibra tires. I love Costco and their rotisserie chicken and their food court items from time to time. But even the most die-hard Costco fans must admit that you can't only shop at Costco. As great as their selection of pretzels and lawn chairs are, sometimes they just don't have what you're looking for. You need to go to Trader Joe's because they don't have soy chorizo and habanero hot sauce. Or maybe you just want an alley cat and you want to use all of those earnings to celebrate and buy yourself a hearty burrito instead of a hot dog that is inferior to the Polish sausage in every way. Data makes great components and apparently great frame sets. While I wouldn't want an entirely Data bike, having one is pretty unique and that's nobody ever really thought to build one, just like nobody really ever thinks to shop exclusively at Costco. Even though I wouldn't want it for myself, I still love Costco. Basically what I'm saying with this video is, Costco, just, just sponsor me already.
And if you want to have your bike featured in this bike check series, you can check out the instructions on how to do just that in the description. And fixie famous shoutouts to Zan Kolnick, Ryan Witz, Robbie Undial, Kevin Ho, Justin Javier, Julian Corona, Henry Grant, David Kay, and Brandon Black for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through the support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.